serious video this time. Some of mine are a little bit flippant or otherwise humorous. This is not one of those. Um, in a couple of months, my wife and I are expecting one of these to be joining our family. Hopefully we'll be the happiest baby on the block. This is a good book, by the way. Highly recommended. Um, but we've got one of these on the way. A baby, a child, and we have um, one or more of these um, laying around the house. Well, not laying around the house, but in the house. That's a handgun. Okay. And um, so it becomes immediately obvious uh, that as responsible gun owners, as all of us should be uh, as gun owners, we need to have a way of um, protecting, uh, well, protecting the guns from the child, the child from the guns, however you want to put it, but keeping the guns out of the hands of our child and any other children who might be visiting us. Um, I wanted a product that was um, going to be as secure as it could be for its size, and this is obviously not a, a vault or even really a safe because uh, it's too small, <clears throat> but um, I wanted something that was secure, reasonably, um, but that also I could get into if need be, if I needed to um, use the contents to protect myself or my family. There's a lot of crap out there. Um, there's a lot of biometric things, which I guess maybe you could say the technology hasn't matured very well, but if you've ever done any real work with your hands and then tried to unlock your laptop with a uh, with your fingerprint you'll find that it doesn't work because it doesn't recognize the little cuts and stuff in your fingers I don't like battery powered things and frankly as a computer guy I don't like anything computer powered if I have to rely on it because I you know I know what idiots we are so I ended up with this product um, by Fort Knox um, number one it is not made in China it is made in the United States um, out west I believe this is a Kaba Simplex lock five button. They don't bother numbering the buttons um, because um, the design is that, you know, in the, in the dark of night, you reach for it and you enter your combination and it opens. And it's not silent, but it doesn't make any beepy noises. And there you go. Inside, um, one of the first things I noticed is this thing weighs, I don't know, 25 or 30 pounds, maybe more. The metal even on the sides is uh, 0.14 so that's like uh, over an eighth of an inch there and uh, here we've got a little more 0.18 pretty thick metal it is welded all the way around everything is welded there are no seams or no gaps even the, the uh, little pneumatic um, uh, support strut, which is probably hard to see, but if I bring it around this way, maybe you can see that pneumatic thing that lifts the heavy lid for you, <coughs> counterbalances it. There's the simplex lock. Let me zoom in on that for you. This is a genuine Kaba um, simplex, even has the 800 number on it. Um, very nice hardened steel bolt, even with this extra plate, which um, I suspect provides a little bit of drill protection, but also um, you know, keeps this thing from flopping around. This engages solidly under the lip of the, um, of the safe right there. So it comes in under here. You're not gonna be able to shim it. It's, it's dead locking, simple, effective, um, and uh, secure and made in the US and frankly not a whole lot more expensive than some of the crap locks out there that we've seen all sorts of exploits on from um, from Tobias um, from uh, uh, Deviant and some of the other guys out there um, I don't know if this simplex lock has the um, 
the, vulner the magnetic vulnerability that some of the other ones do. But frankly, if you look at where it's located in here, um, here's the lock. Here's the steel body of it. Um, here's the steel case and more. St I don't. Th I mean, maybe if you put this inside an MRI machine or something, it might open. But I don't think any child that is young enough to not be able to just exhaustively bypass the or exhaustively go through the combinations on this thing is going to be able to hold a magnet strong enough to even potentially um, uh, utilize that bypass. If it, if this one has it, um, to Fort Knox's credit, they don't even mess around. They give you the they give you the uh, full instructions on this lock. There's even mounting instructions on there in three languages, no less. Um, so they just you know they show you what products they're using, and it's there. This thing is welded all the way around. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's very heavy. The body is made out of one looks like one big sheet of metal that's been bent up and welded in the corners. It's got little feet on it, um, plastic feet, um, to keep it from scratching whatever it's on. But those also conveniently pop out and you can bolt it or screw it down to a surface. Um, and uh, Jesus, there's the hinge, all welded. Um, bolt it down to some surface and uh, keep it from going. It's got lots of foam and stuff inside. Enough room for a couple of handguns for a little bit of money maybe, um, passports, whatever. Um, it's not fire rated. Uh, I wouldn't even call it burglary rated just because you could, you know, pick it up and walk away. But um, I think it's five-year-old rated. Um, and it's about $120, $150 on Amazon. Um, and I think if you're planning on having one of these in your house and you have one or more of these in your house you need to have something like this in your house um, so that the twain shall not meet um, and I have found in my evaluation this is the best product that I could find on the market um, it also comes in a couple different form factors there's a thinner one there's one that opens from the side so that you can have it mounted vertically and reach down and they also have one that will take a long gun, like a shotgun, um, you can put under the bed. So, um, so that's just my two cents on the subject. Um, I don't have any relationship with Fort Knox or the distributors or anything like that. Uh, it just happens to be the one that I chose and I'm very happy with the choice. So, um, be a responsible gun owner. Don't be an idiot. Um, and uh, do the right thing to protect uh, protect our children and protect our our rights in this country. So, this is Alex. Thank you for watching. Um, have fun. Keep it legal. And in this case, keep uh, keep these little guys safe. You know. Okay. Cheers.